Hi, welcome to Open House Melbourne. I'm Russell, Observatory Guide at Melbourne Observatory, Royal Botanic Gardens, Victoria, Melbourne Gardens. And what I love most about being an observatory guide is showing members of the public uh, planets and the moon and stars. These have great wow factors. There are the coloured stars, they can see craters on the moon, they can see the, the rings of Saturn, they can see the belts on Jupiter and four of Jupiter's moons. So they can actually relive the experience of Galileo back in 1610, over 400 years ago. So although this building was built in 1873, uh, Melbourne Observatory itself was established in 1863. It was uh, a, a successor to two earlier observatories, one at Williamstown and one in the Flagstaff Gardens, because there was a, an, a, an essential need to uh, determine local time. In those uh, times, uh, navigation of ships and positions of ships were determined by time elapsed from port, and knowing their speed in knots, from, uh, from the port, they could roughly determine their longitude. And uh, an error of two minutes uh, in their timekeeping could be the difference between a safe journey and a journey ending up on rocks. Well, this uh, site was chosen in the 1860s because it was close to the growing uh, city of Melbourne, but it was also on a, a relative high point. Uh, the building that we're in now is a dome building. And uh, people appreciate uh, doing their observing inside a dome building because it could be quite cold or windy outside, but inside this beautifully isolated building, uh, they, they don't feel the wind and they don't feel the, the cold air. So it's very, very comfortable indeed. So this is a, a heavy telescope and with a heavy mount and uh, it needs to be well supported. So this entire telescope is sitting on a stone pillar, which is um, connected to the ground. The main purpose of that being that it uh, means that the building can be isolated from the telescope so that people walking around do not uh, cause vibrations. So this is by far the safest way to view the sun because you're not actually looking directly at the sun, you're looking at the sun projected. Uh, from the, the telescope eyepiece onto a piece of card and this uh, disc that we see here is actually the photosphere of the sun, perfectly safely. So sunlight comes in through the, uh, the lenses of the telescope, comes to a focus at about uh, a point here and then the eyepiece magnifies that uh, focused image to, uh, to reveal the sun that, that we can uh, see with our uh, eyes. Now we, we never ever look at the sun directly through a telescope because you run the risk of seriously damaging your eyesight permanently. We're now in the Astrograph House. The Astrograph House was built in 1889 uh, as a special purpose observatory to fulfill the requirements of a, a project called the Astrograph Project or the Carte du Ciel Project. It was a worldwide effort uh, by observatories um, including uh, Melbourne Observatory, Sydney Observatory and Perth Observatory in Australia to do a very ambitious project, that is to photograph the entire sky. But imagine a, a, a project in the 1890s to photograph the sky and that wasn't everything because those photographs had to then be analysed by people uh, so that the, uh, the positions of those stars could be, uh, could be determined. A location on planet Earth uh, is defined by latitude and longitude. The same applies to objects in the sky. They have two numbers which we term declination, which is the equivalent of latitude, and right ascension, which is the equivalent of longitude. But those numbers had to be determined, and that was done by human computers and women were employed to do this function. Now these women were employed by the Victorian government 
uh, in the public service and they were the first women in Australia to be employed by the public service. Those photographs taken in the 1890s and 1900s serve as a snapshot in time. Installed in here was a very special telescope called an astrograph, which is a telescope designed to take photographs. So this telescope is not the astrograph. It was removed from Melbourne Observatory in 1945 when the observatory officially closed. But this uh, telescope was installed in its place. Now, believe it or not, this telescope was built by a single person, a Mr. Jeffrey in Bendigo. And it is based on the design that Isaac Newton invented over 300 years ago. It works by using mirrors. Down here in this telescope is a 12 inch mirror with an aluminium reflective surface. The light comes down the tube, bounces off the, the curve on the mirror. As it does so, it comes to a focus somewhere up here at the end of the, uh, of the telescope. But of course, the, uh, the light hits a flat mirror and the light is directed outwards through the tube and an observer with an eyepiece will be looking at the object at that point up here. In the 1930s, to have a 12-inch telescope, well, that was as good as it got for an amateur observer. There's a building on site called Magnet House, which uh, was designed to measure the Earth's magnetic field. and. As a building, it was built without any steel or ferrous metals in it. In fact, the nails that we used were made of copper because copper is non-magnetic. And it worked perfectly well for many years until the St Kilda Road uh, trams were electrified. And because uh, as electricity passes through wires, it creates magnetic fields, which were uh, enough to uh, reduce the sensitivity of the uh, magnetometers.